Denim heads, welcome back to the RopeDye.com video blog. Today we're talking about denim. Not denim, but denim. But denim is really, really good at denim. You get me? You will in a second. So, there are brands that have just, they've been around forever. Your Levi's for sure, Lee, Wrangler, you know, the, the big three. But the other brands are just so intrinsically woven into the denim culture it kind of seems that they've, they've always been there too. I mean, if I think back to when I was first getting to raw denim, brands like New Day, Naked and Famous, they were kind of our gateway drug. We lusted after the Shadow Selvage from 316, Tell Us and Taught Us All About Made in the USA, and of course there was all the Japanese guys as well. It just seems they've always been there, but many of these brands, they're, they're actually relatively young. One such brand turns 10 this year. The Athlon Ape Denim, the jean maker, celebrates a decade in the denim business in 2018. And they celebrate this with... The denim guys got together with local Amsterdam-based publisher Mendo. Now, Mendo is not only a publisher, they started off life as a bookstore. One of the best I've actually been in. They specialize in a very visually driven books from fashion to design to lifestyle, photography and graphic design. So. Who better for the denim guys to team up with? Now, online, they describe this book as a coffee table book. I guess what they mean by this is it's a book you can make a coffee table from. I mean, just look at this thing. It's huge. Through the 512 pages and over 800 photographs, the tale of how denim got its start to where it is today is told. Much of which by the man himself, Jason. This is 512 pages long. There's a lot to read. No way can I take you guys through even half of the highlights, so I'll just give you the briefest of overviews. It starts off with a foreword by Jason's wife, Debbie. Then it moves on to Jason himself telling the story of building the brand. The three P's, people, product, presentation, describing the individuals instrumental in creating the brand, how they crafted the product and the manner in which the product was presented. And all of this is it's just in the first few pages. As we move through the book, we're transported to Japan. The tales of the trials and tribulations that led to the success in the East is told. We travel down to Italy to the mills of Candiani. At the start of the brand, it was all about the Japanese stiff raw denim. But the market shifted in the next few years. Jason and his team were at the forefront of this new European soft stretch denim. I remember seeing this years ago, what must have been one of my first bread and butters. Yes, they had the raw denim. But the unwatched stretch denim was, at first glance, indistinguishable from the heavy stiff denim. It was just softer, a little bit more give. There's the story of the scissors, the denim logo, that has become an icon. Apparently Jason has a rather large obsession with the scissors. He's amassed a collection of thousands by now, which are displayed in the denim stores and offices, studios, just the world over. Of course, this is going to be his logo. There's a picture series entitled Dancing Scissors, which, to be honest, could be up in a gallery. It's beautiful. Actually, I will have to stop here. There's simply just, it's too much. All the stories, the interviews, the excerpts, the bios, are all told with the most amazing photos and artwork. This, this book really is just a thing of beauty. Okay, okay, just one final thing. Then I'll stop ranting at you. Have you guys been to Amsterdam? If you love denim, you need to go to Amsterdam. It's no exaggeration to say that this is the denim capital of the world. But there's so much more there. Uh, we get a little tour around Jason's top 10 spots so towards the back of the book. And yeah, I've not been to all of them, but the ones I have are well worth a visit. Right, so if you want one of these amazing beasts of a book, you can get it through the selected denim stores, uh, at the Mendo of course. Um, it's also going to be available online. It's going to run you 80 euros. Uh, oh, 79 euros, which actually seems to be like a crazy good price for a book like this. This is something I'm really delighted to have in my library and I'm going to be drawing on this for inspiration for, for years. So, Jason and the rest of you guys over there at Denim, congratulations on the last 10 years and cheers to the next 10 years. Rather usefully, there's something to toast with. Indigo dyed sake. Ah, damn, I, I can't open this. Uh, this for one thing, it's midday, and this is definitely just, it's going in the collection, come on. Denim heads, thanks for tuning in again. Now, the guide to finding your perfect jeans, it's its almost done. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot more things like this. So product reviews, book reviews, rundowns, maybe some other guides if you guys would be into that. If you've got any suggestions, 
For sure, just let us know. Uh, Brendan, I know you're into mills. This is something that we're working on, mate. Getting behind the scenes with these guys can be a little bit tricky, but we're on it, I promise. So if you've liked this video, it'd be great if you'd give us a thumbs up. If you've hated it, thumbs down for sure, but let us know where we went wrong. We're, we're here to learn. If you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, we'd love it. And guys, I'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you.